I've created a script module that contains an advanced function called set service password. It's designed to change the password of a service on one or more computers. My advanced function accepts one or more computer names, a service name, and the new password. All the work is actually being done by worker change PW, the function here. It's actually using WMI to effect that change. Because this actually does make a change to the operating system, it would be a good idea for me to add support for the dash what if and dash confirm parameters. I declare that support here in the commandlet binding attribute of the advanced function. Supports should process equals dollar sign true and I need to in indicate my confirm impact. This is a string and it can be either the word low, medium, or high. The trick is there's a dollar confirm preference variable built into the shell and it defaults to high. If my confirm impact is equal to or higher than the confirm preference, then the dash confirm parameter will be engaged automatically. I don't want that to happen, so that kind of lets out the high impact level. I think I'm going to go with medium. This way someone can actually specify dash confirm if they want to, but they don't have to. Now declaring my support for dash what if and dash confirm is only half the battle. Down here where I'm actually making the change, I need to put an if statement. If ps commandlet, that's a built-in object, dot should process, if that function or method returns true, then my change will actually go through. If somebody runs this with dash what if, this will automatically return false and this will never run. If they run it with dash confirm, this will only return true if they say yes. Now what goes inside here should be some indication of what's actually about to happen. So what I'm going to say is setting password for dollar sign service name on dollar sign name. That's the computer I'm currently trying to hit. That way in the dash what if or dash confirm output there's some readable clear explanation of what's about to happen or what would have happened. Let's save this. I'm going to drop down into the shell to show you something really cool. Import module my tools help set service oops password. You can see that the dash what if and dash confirm parameters are automatically added simply because I declared support for them. This is a practice that Microsoft follows whenever they make real commandlets that modify the system and it's a practice you should follow whenever you make an advanced function that modifies the system.